This is Bryce Knights and the Breakfast of Champions. And sometimes when you bite into your cereal and a stunt wood comes into your mouth, there's only one thing to do. And that's pick up your stunt wood and get ill. Not as compass. Julian. Ray Barbie. Tony Magnuson. Bryce Knight. And McGuire. Cav. Luke Ogden. Mickey Riggs, TG, and Jimmy Pivo, Ricky Windsor, Keith Meek, Eric Dressen, Street Scott, Nottis, Bob Boyle, Julian Stranger, Jimmy Thebo. These are just a few of the sick boys that are destroying the streets across America. There are no limits anymore. They are taking it to the extremes in every place they go. Even carving over couches or riding on people's homes like Julian does there. Phil Chin, Casting Ponds, Christian. Oh, sure. How are you doing? TG. This is not us going over a rail, down a rail, and 50-50 at night. Which brings us to SF. Because SF is the place to be. CBS is an attitude of just raging, having a good time, fun at other people's expense. But, uh... It's gotten really blown out of proportion because all these kids think, oh, we're from the cities and we're CBS. You know, it's not like it at all. They got to start out with a couple surfer guys. And they skate it too. But it's just basically raging, having a good time. Not all, yeah, we're a gang or something. No, you know what I'm saying? Mike Archimedes, China Banks. Nikki Reyes going down to the law of gravity and paying the price. Arco. Duke. San Francisco just happens to be the greatest place in the world for street skate. The CBS boys destroy all the architecture around this area with ruthless abandon. This is the avenues.
moving along. We find Joey McSqueed, the world's greatest skater, laying down a toy track. Leaving Europe and everyone's driver with his high speed sliding maneuvers. Look at Joey go. Here we are, down at the beach curves for a few slappy grinds before the sun goes down. When we were young children, we had to go to school. Now that we're older, we go back after school gets out to do stunts like these. Jimmy Febo, Oakland Tech, Oakland, California. Nicky Ray's trying impossibilities. TG in the place to be. It takes really big balls to do stuff like that. And Nick surely doesn't laugh in that category. Style master Tommy Guerrero sporting the same eye shirt, I might say. Dude. Just chilling after the session. All the homies getting ready to have a few sodas. But Bright says, You should see me at Alvarado, dude. I bust out the fresh ones. Mike Alcatar. With back on the other side, only a few would try stunts such as this. Michael Rose. Julian Stranger. Master of the Railing. Front side master. Ken McGuire, Redwood High School. Ron Allen. Board riding is prohibited. People are trying to stop skateboarding all across America, but it's impossible. Skating has evolved to such a state where people are doing anything, everywhere, on anything, at any time. Good luck trying to stop them. Stevie Cal. This is Julian and Nottis. Venice High, Santa Monica. Or Venice. Thought I heard in her voice a flicker of a flicker of promise. Thought I heard her say that she might be ready to start. She showed me a little, but not enough, not enough. 
Mike Alcatar and infamous Couch Car. Show me a little, but not enough, not enough to know. Eric Dressen, Mickey, Julian, and the master of wall riding, Nottis Coppice. Ron Allen. Those guys are just like in their own world. They just, I mean, Show me their priorities are different than everybody else's. Not enough, and the not enough to know. Have fun. So the things they do are, they spend so much time together, so the things they do aren't even under really understandable to everybody else. I mean, people spend a lot of time with them enough, because it's just kind of like they're together all the time and all their jokes are like with themselves and whatever, <laughs> whatever they're talking about, you know, they, they're the only people who understand it because it's like they're all living same kind of lifestyle. Groupies, well, I don't, I don't have little, but not enough, but not enough I like them. Know. They amuse me. See, I hate when people say shit like that. <laughs> Same. This is that skate camp, Bryce Knight, Stale Fish Grab, Wheeler. Sometimes it's really, really easy. You step outside of your house, you could skate, you could go down the street, like if you live someplace where it's good to skate, you could go down, grind a curb, whatever. But sometimes you have to work very hard to get to a place to skate. And it is a struggle. And this is what this is this is a secret spot in Northern California with Arco and Bryce and Luke climbing in because they're social insects. This place is called The Hook. As you can well see, Closest thing I've ever seen to a cement wave. DK styling. Our go. also call the hook because if you fall, you get hooked like a fish. DK, bird's eye view. Test for the night and how put it through, put it through the pace of here. Here are the boys destroyed after a session at the hook. They didn't even get to hook that fish, he was dead long ago. There are no rules in this society, man. Once, there was a place called the Blood Bowl, and it was really fun, and a lot of people got to skate it, and now it's under church. And as far as we know, this is the last photographic evidence of the legendary Blood Bowl in Oakland, California.
Sunny day. They think it's better than anything I've ever had to play on. Like this little stone when he's rolling fast. He comes back out. He's smiling. What a gas. DK. Check out this kid's G forced out face as he comes around the ride of his life. Or Bryce's death box car. Twerk master. Yeah. How's it feel, Bryce? <laughs> Graffiti art has some of the greatest around. Okay, here we have Mike Archimedes drinking a beer because he's at a party. What kind of a party? Well, it's a pool party. And the person who owns his pool is a lawyer. And his son decided when he went out of town that he would empty this pool and have a little party. Chris Lowe here came and destroyed. Put your hand in fire, burn yourself. But you're a rock star now, Chris. This is Keith Meek, Raging Waters Pool. Drawing a very fast and fluid line. Shows up at the lava ball and wastes no time. This is in Napa County, Napa, California. This is a sludge bowl. It's a treatment plant for wastewater. Like Archimedes. This is Tommy Guerrero showing how to go very fast without pushing. I don't think you could do that with tight trucks, children. Hulahan. Rock and roll, here we go. Rock and head Baco! This is a dish, San Francisco, California. If you go here, you better bring your posse because. The local forces will take your boards, your money, your car, whatever they can get. So you better bring your crew and be ready to move out in a hurry. Or go really high, like Nottis.
this is Benicia. This is a Napa County little session here with Nodis Lofton. DG, BK, Eric D, Coolahan. Oh, sure, Tommy. You never ollied in your life. At one point, one must contemplate where these skaters, where they evolved from. Perhaps it was from the ballroom floors of the 20s as dames and their dukes spun around on silver shoes, getting the balance that was needed to pass on to their future generations. But people like Nottis, one must just wonder about these things when they look at someone doing such wild and crazy things. Isn't it all amazing? Ah, uh, back in SF, where we have a little treat. Nottis will do all the ollies that you can never even think of, like it's nothing in front of you. The hour, not as cop is. Oh, sure. Ron Allen, Berkeley Street Master. Or how about Brandon Chapman here? I always ollie you to rail slide bike rats, don't you? This is Berkeley, California with Brandon showing how to ollie very high. There are other attractions in Berkeley too. Rock star shows on the streets for nothing. Brandon and Ron and Ollie very high. How fast? How high? How oh, well? <laughs> well, wow. okay, okay, boys. That's enough of that. Bow, bow. This is Ron Allen. Check out the reaction of his local crew down the city. Yeah, yeah, boy. What is a demo? Well, let me tell you about the time they built a Golden Gate Bridge. And underneath that bridge, they had lovely little rocks that they had to put there, and there was waves. And that bridge was there for a long, long time. It's been there for 50 years or something. Guys surfing it on their on their boards, just cruising, doing groovy turns in the tube pocket. And after the bridge was 50 years old, they decided to have a little party. This is a 50th anniversary of the Golden Gate Bridge. This is Hula Man. One of the typical SF males displaying his fine talents before the local skaters got a chance to bust out some tricks. Woo! Ray Myers. Yeah, you hate 
That was cool, but uh, lo uh, look at look at Tommy. And McGuire, Mickey, and DK on the garbage slide. Isn't littering against the law? Jimmy Thibault. TG, Holly Master Extraordinaire. You're not supposed to do these anymore, Jim. And they are rocking out. As Tom Minos follows D.B. Cavalero out to the ramp. At a demo that Tom set up. Stevie Caballero's first run at a demo after sitting in his car for hours. This kid is nine years old. And he skates really, really good. He can do little full airs. Ooh. But Stevie's a big boy, and he can do big tricks like that. And that. Tom Pia from Washington came down. The city, I gave him right up here, and uh, he did these stunts. He's big, he's mean, he's tough, he's green. From the seven seas, he's Japanese. He always chill with us, cause we're his homies. Alan Peterson from Fresno, California. Mike Persenko. Remember, there's no bird on this ramp, okay? Oh, dude, Aaron's hand feels so ill. This is Minky! It's Stevie's little animal. It's a parrot. And this is Stevie at his home. His backyard in San Jose. Nose pick hell. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Bod Boyle, Skate Camp, Santa Clara. 
Chris Robison. It's 1980 YMCA, so much ass. No mom and dad, don't worry, they'll be wearing all their pants. That was in the bike number. Tony, Tony Magnuson. Bad boy, Derby Park is a place in Santa Cruz where guys like Tony Roberts go really, really fast. little speed run with Alex and Meekster. Here's the Meekster on a big one-footed Ollie. Tony, Ollie the Rebird. Cement. You can pretend like you're surfing while you're skateboarding. You can't really do that when you're going back and forth on some stupid ramp. What about the other What do you like about it? Nothing. Is it good? No. It's awful. How come? A waste of concrete. Because the designer's got his head up his ass. Well, I've been up and I've been down. I've seen you all over this town. I've seen your eyes. I've seen your hair. Hey, little girl, there's something that we could share, yeah. All right. Size in your there are. Your I man, we're trying to go to Aragonia. Let me get some boards, man, so we can sell them. Gas money, your beer money, raging money, you know? Well, how many do you want? Oh, 20. No, 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 man. Can't have that many. Fifteen. No, no, no. Nine. That means a no in German, buddy. What? What? Nine, man. Nine. Well, all right then, honey. Go up my dime. There we go. Yeah. I've been in the corner. I've been on the ground. You're not gonna believe what I have found. You're haunting my imagination. There's only one step for eradication. We got to Arizona. We saw a cotton field. It's just like the stuff that makes our shirts. Isn't that nice? Oh. Oh. Oh, look, Mike. Let's. There's Susie's wig shop. Let's stop and check it out. Oh, let me walk in here. Oh, oh my God, I've... Oh, look at all oh, this brow. What? What do you mean? I love this. I love the color. It's just so pretty. You mustn't treat me like this. I'm very sensitive. Oh, wow. But I'm from San Francisco. Oh, oh man. Terrific, 
after Susie's wig shop and our new sporting hair sauce twos, we showed up at the contest here and saw Jason Jesse ripping. Stevie Caballero and Christian playing around in the street arena. Tony Magnuson warming up for the contest. I'm personally not doing the contest myself, but usually the best stuff happens when people are warming up or after the contest, which is why we went down there to check out the whole scene. Tony Mag is Chris Miller, one of the fastest and most stylish skaters around. Christian Hasoy. Very, very smooth street line. This is a wave pool in Arizona where they have big surf. I'm saying, dude, the big Kahuna rode out here before. And as uh, the pro ramp contest was going on, Nadis and Mike Bowley, Arco and Nikki had a little session of their own over in the street arena, all to themselves. Hi, Nadis. Nikki. Robert Torres from San Jose, California. Mike Archimedes. How are you doing, Hurricane? <laughs> I feel sick. This is another place that is no longer with us, the Holcomb Ditch. We were on our way to Patty's Perfect Ramp after the contest. We saw this ditch, and Arco liked it a whole lot. So did Nikki. After that ditch, we went to our original destination, Patty's Perfect Ramp, where this kid's mother, so the story goes, built the ramp for him, and all the pros come skate it whenever they're in town, like Gator, and Christian, and Monty, that's not Monty though, he doesn't do that, he does this. How are you doing? This is Gator. With a whole bunch of tricks in his bag, Staley. Once again, the question arises in my mind, where did these skaters get their incredible talent, this balance, this natural rhythm that they seem to have? Could it be from the forefathers of the Big Kahuna? As those forefathers rode redwood planks, some 100 pounds or more, on the wild crest 
of the waves of Waikiki in the Sandwich Isles. This possibly could be one of the reasons, I'm not sure, but it's still, I find it rather amazing, things like this. I know Christian likes islands. As you might have noticed by now, this movie is really about a bunch of people from SF. And we started off making a little movie around SF. And then we decided to go on the road, start filming some of our friends and stuff. So we went to Arizona. And on the way back, we are coming through the desert here on our way to Nodis' house. And we had to sleep in the car because it got dark and we were all really tired. And we all got really, really cold and freezing. And when you get like that, you wake up in the morning and you feel like a punk rocker, man. And you go off, even on harmless cactus that has nothing and can't defend itself against you unless you run into it and stick yourself with it, which you probably aren't going to do. Skaters do have somewhat of an attitude problem, as this cactus soon finds out. But there was only one person on this journey who was disgusted by this plant mutilation that was duly and stranger. As he looked on in disgust, he could not believe the atrocities committed here in the desert. After venting our frustrations, we are on the road again. I don't know if any of you know this guy named Mickey Reyes, but this creature is the only thing that I've ever seen that could shut him up. I'm saying. Arco doing his Nautis imitation. Here we are in Santa Monica at Nautis' house we arrived. And went to this pool. There goes Mickey, my follower. And Scott Oster and Nautis. Yo, master of disaster. That's not master of disaster. That's my friend Nautis. Look at him go. Ooh, eat. Guy, man, really cool guy in general. Ripping skater. I like him. <laughs> He's looking pretty good. <laughs> he skates very well too, I might say. Yeah. Takes first, then destroys. <laughs> Everything in sight, on command, at will, on call. <laughs> He's the master. <laughs> These are the beach birds at Santa Monica, about a block and a half from Nautis' house. Needless to say, he has them quite wired. John Detman. Oh, no one does this except for Nautis. It's invented that day. It's called the sugar cane. John. Who else would skate in a black leather jacket in a hot day in San Monica? Hurricane Hell. Got 
you know, when you skate really hard, you fall really hard, you know, everything is really, really stressful in your life. You gotta have fun. You gotta play. That's one of the main things you gotta do. Not if knows how to do that. Well, we're gonna leave Santa Monica now. And head back up to SF. And... <laughs> oh, it's Mickey! Happy day! Another day in San Francisco. I'm a good guy, man. People just gotta get to know me. I'm a little slow, but... Come on, man. I usually take off fast, but now I take you off slow. <laughs> so, yeah. Let me tell you about the time. Because you got the power fast, body. I mean, I fell down and all the skin on my stomach fell off. <laughs> and I looked back up the street and it was all over the street. I got up and went home and cried. And I was skating in the thing. I felt so pathetic because my boy didn't bite me. I'm a human. <laughs> they call us skaters. They call us nuisance. They call us the scum of the earth. But we're a human. <laughs> we know the values of life. We know what's right and wrong. We know what feels good. <laughs> you just have to do it. They can't ever stop us. No matter how hard they try. No matter how hard they try, they can't stop us. We're everywhere. Look at every wall. There is wheel mark everywhere. Every railing has been done in the world. All over the world. Everyone does railings. <laughs> Everyone does ollies. Just think about it. Ground everywhere. <laughs> This is another typical San Francisco male, Julian Stranger. Julian skates really, really fast. As you can see here. This is the last ride through the streets of SF. It's a long ways down, right at that edge there. And down below, Bryce Knights is hitting up his logo. And I think he's had just a little bit too much of my camera in his face. As you can see there. Bad things are women with very large hair sauces dripping in the wind and slamming as well. There's some really, really bad things that happen in skateboarding, but that's all part of the ball game. You can see what I'm saying, everyone goes down. If you want to pay, you're gonna pay. If you want to play, you're gonna pay. It doesn't matter, either way, you're gonna pay. I'm saying. There's other bad things also, like this. Stay away from drugs, everyone. It won't do you any good. Either will this. Or this. Everyone goes down. That's all that happens here. You will go down. You will bite the pavement. Your nose will bleed. It's just a bloody nose, fella. <laughs> My nose has never bled this way before. <laughs> what am I gonna do, friend? <coughs> and then we come upon the final victim of this movie. This is the sick boy. This has been a Mad Dog production.
já te dito aí que eu sei qual é essa. He's got a woody. He's got a Now, what's the question? Yeah, can you repeat the question? Was it something about pudding? Oh, yeah. It's What about pudding? What pudding? these battles in a bottle. They're paddles and bottles on a poodle and the poodle's eating noodles. They call this muddle puddle, tweedle poodle, beetle, noodle, bottle, paddle, battle. Now wait a minute, Mr. Sox Fox. <laughs> So the fox is in the bottle with the Tweedle Beetle battle with the paddles in the puddle and the noodles eating poodle. This is what they call a Tweedle Beetle Noodle Poodle bottle paddle muddle duddle puddle little fox and socks, sir. Fox and socks is our game is done, sir. Thanks you for a lot of fun, sir. I think Emily's laughing. Effort. I don't know. I don't know what I think of that. Uh, oh, don't ask me this question. Come on, you have to answer the question. What about little kids? Those little, little fucking... How's that hairdo there, buddy? Let me tell you. <laughs> Dude, I... <laughs> Dude, I can't do this. All right, that's cool. And that's all Not we have. Least. That's all we got for Mr. Mike Clark of My mom, what will she think? 
See, here's me making these noises. 